Hello everyone, you're watching News Point. I'm Shivan Channa. On the show today, well, we are going to be delving into what exactly Hezbollah is attempting to launch at Israel now. In the last one year, Israeli air defense systems, we've seen them get outfoxed a number of times. But in the latest, Hezbollah has unveiled a precision-guided rocket artillery weapon, Nasser 2. The weapon was recently deployed at the occupied, of course, in the region of Haifa. What is this new weapon all about? We'll bring you a full report on that. This and a lot more lined up for you right here on Newspoint. Let's start with Airlines. Chinese military begins live fire exercise near Taiwan after staging large scale drills last week, and President Xi Jinping calls for troops to prepare for war. Israel says commander responsible for funding Hezbollah killed in Syria accuses Hezbollah of keeping hundreds of millions of dollars stashed in and gold in a bunker under a hospital in Beirut. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken embarks on latest West Asia tour for a new push for an elusive Gaza ceasefire days after Israel killed Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. A Peruvian court sentences former President Alejandro Toledo to more than 20 years in prison for accepting multi-million dollar bribes from scandal-hit Brazilian construction conglomerate. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi leaves from Delhi to attend the 16th BRICS Summit being held in Kazan under the chairmanship of Russia. Hurricane Oscar leaves at least six people dead in Cuba. Electricity restored in most parts of the capital Havana four days after a nationwide blackout. 